Hello friends, welcome to Dennis Simplifies. In this video, we are going to find the mean and the median of a set of numbers in C++. As usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. Devise a computer solution that we use to compute the median and the mean of a set of numbers, given that the numbers have already been arranged in decreasing order of magnitude. To the algorithm. Since we are to find the mean and the median, we must know the size of the set of numbers. So we ask the user to enter the size of the set of numbers. Knowing the size of the set, we are going to create memory spaces in an array that fits just the size the user entered. We do that by dereferencing the array. I will explain this further as we go along. Because we are going to sum the numbers in the set, we create an empty variable called sum that will store the sum of the numbers in the set. Now, the memory spaces we created in the array, we are going to ask the user to fill them up with numbers inside this for loop. This loop runs from 1 to the size the user entered, meaning the user will only be allowed to enter one number at a time each time the loop runs up to the size where the loop ends. Again, any time the user enters a number to be stored in the array, we also at the same time want to add the number to sum and store it, meaning we'll be adding the numbers. Now we can end our for loop. Knowing the sum and the size of the set of numbers, we can compute for the mean. Now to find the median, we must first know whether the size of the set is either even or odd, since either way will require different approaches for finding the median, that's when it's odd and when it's even. So if the size of the set is even, we are going to find the average of the first middle value and the second middle value. We get the first middle value by dividing the size by 2. Since we began i from 1, the number after this will be the next middle value. So we divide the size by 2 and plus 1 for the next number. You will get a clearer picture as you go along. Else, if the size is odd, we divide the size plus 1 by 2 to get the median. We now then print them out. To get a better picture, of what we are doing, let's visualize what we just did. Take the size to be 5. Next, we create 5 memory spaces in an array. Sum is equal to 0. Now, each time the loop runs, we ask the user to fill the memory spaces in the array with numbers from 1 to the size, which is 5. We fill in arbitrary numbers to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And each time the user entered a number in the array, we added and stored that number in sum. With this, we found our mean. Since the size of the set is an odd number, 5, to find the median in the set, we add 1, making 6, and divide by 2, giving us 3. So we can see that the value when the index is 3 is the median, so the median equals 4. Let's take the size to be an even number, say 4. We are going to take the average of the two values at the middle position. So we divide the size 4 by 2, giving us 2 to get the first middle number, which is 5, and then move to the next number, which is plus 1. Now you know why we use plus 1. So we add the values at positions 2 and 3, that is 4 and 5, and divide by 2 and get the median, which would be 4.5. All right, friends, we are through with the algorithm. Let's take a look at our code in C++. But before that, I will encourage you to pause the video, give it a like, and subscribe. Very well to our code. In the int main function, I declare these to be a double and the size to be an integer. I also initialize sum to be empty. From there, I ask the user to enter the size of the array. I declared the array to be a double and also dereferenced it with the asterisk. 
Now I allocated the size, which is also a double because I made the array a double. Now I allocate the size, I allocate the size to memory spaces in the array. So you should create that memory spaces of the size in the array. So this is a recent invention. Before it wasn't possible to allocate memory spaces during runtime, but now it is possible. Now I set the for loop, which will take the numbers in the array and also sum them up. I close my for loop and compute for the mean. Now I compute for the median, if the size is even and if the size is odd. The end line here will leave a space. And finally, I display the mean and then the median. After that, I end my program. Let's run our code and see how it looks. Notice in this case, I entered the size to be an odd number, entered some values, and then we have our mean and then our median. Now let's take the size to be an even bar as well. And there we have it. So when you do the computations on your calculator, you find out that our code is running properly. Friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Till then, a party up!